This video is brought to you by Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of awesome classes. Now the first thousand people who click the link down below get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, which means that you can access all these beautiful classes for free. More to come. Hey guys, Marco here, welcome back to another video. Today I wanna to talk to you about chords and I wanna show you how to add this lovely, jazzy, R&B, neo soul kind of vibe to the chords. Of course, we're gonna learn the chords and then learn the rhythm, the finger picking pattern, and also how to add a simple melody between the chords. The drum beat I used at the beginning of the video can be downloaded on my Patreon page, otherwise you can use any drum beat. The speed is 75, BPM and I'm using Drummer from Logic Pro. Now the chord progression itself is not that challenging. We are in the key of D minor. We're gonna start with the chord four, which is the G minor chord. The chord five, which is the A minor. And then we finally resolve to the chord one, the D minor. We're also going to open up to the chord six, which is the B flat major chord. Then a minor, G minor, and back to the A minor. So it's pretty much always the same uh, set of chords, repeated over and over. So the very first step, just familiarize yourself with the chords. You know, if you're not used to playing these bar chords, just give it a try, you know, just to memorize the chord progression and just try the uh, basic chords without extensions. Of course, we can make these chords more jazzy and neo soul by adding the minor seven to the chords. And so we're gonna play the chords like this now. G minor seven, A minor seven, and the D minor seven. Now the minor seven chord with the root note on the low E string, in this case, the G minor and the A minor, um, is a very simple chord if you think about it. It's just uh, played with the root note on the low E string, nothing on the A string, and then we have the uh, same fret, for example, the fret number three on the D, G, and B string. So there are a lot of different ways to play this chord. Sometimes you could just put down a bar chord and pluck the sixth, the fourth, third, and second string. Uh, you could play the chord like this with the finger one, two, three, and four. Now the way I like to play it is like this. I like to play the root note with the second finger and then I'm gonna um, just play a bar chord with the third finger. This is not that easy if you don't have a flexible finger, but it's pretty easy, uh, it's pretty convenient, sorry, to play the chord like this because you only need two fingers. Sometimes you can also play the bass note with the thumb and play the chord with uh, just a bar chord with the index like this. There are a lot of different ways. So we have G minor seven, A minor seven on fret five. And for the D minor, just play the D minor seven chord, which is played with the bar chord on fret number five. And then I have five, seven, five, six, and five. We're also gonna play the D minor nine, which is going to be played like this. It's beautiful sounding chord with three, sorry, with five, three, five, and five. So really just familiarize yourself with the chords. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you can strum the chords lightly. Now of course guys, once we know the chords, we can then add a lovely melody and a bunch of you know musical elements to the chords. Now of course we are in the key of D minor, so I'm gonna be selecting some of the notes from the D minor scale, which is this one. D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, and D. Now we're gonna start with this beautiful phrase. And as you can see, guys, we are going to approach um, a lot of notes chromatically, which is going to uh, give even uh, more jazzy and bluesy feel to the phrase. So I'm gonna start with the fret number seven on the D string, which I'm going to approach chromatically. And then on fret number seven again, on the G string, fret number five, fret number six. 
and fret number ten, fret number eight, sorry, which I'm gonna approach chromatically. Now I like to play this phrase always with the thumb. I really like the tone, and I'm gonna be using the fleshy side of the thumb. Then I'm gonna arpeggiate the G minor chord, thumb, and then the thumb on the top strings. Then I have the melody. Still, I'm still using the thumb. On the B string, fret number five, slide to fret number six, and back to five. And then I play the A minor seven chord. This time I'm gonna play the sixth string, fourth string, and then the G and the B string together. And then the phrase is a little bit longer. I'm playing the fret five, but I'm approaching this note chromatically. Then fret number eight and six. And from here, I'm gonna put down a D minor seven chord. And I'm just going to arpeggiate the chord. So it's thumb, 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 and then the top two strings together. And then I have this lovely um, D7 chord flat nine. Which is played like this, I have the fret number five, four, five, and four. So I'm kind of using a bar chord on fret number four. Five, four, five, four. Beautiful sounding chord. It's kind of tricky though. You know, you got two fingers on fret five on the A and the G string and um, one finger on fret four on the D and the B string. But it's a beautiful sounding chord. You could play like this if you want. Using the finger three, one, four, and two. So when you put the whole thing together, And then the same phrase with a different note. We just changed the last note. Uh, we play fret 10, but we are approaching this note chromatically. And then I have the G minor 7 chord. As you can see now, I'm playing the G minor 7 uh, with a little bit more rhythm. So I will play the bass chord, thumb slap, bass and then the chord again. Then I'm gonna go chromatically one fret up and chromatically again one fret up. Then the bass, the chord, and the same phrase on fret number four and five, eight, and six. So now I'm using also the fingers to pluck the strings. arpeggio on the D minor 7 and the D minor 9. So of course in this first section we really focus a lot on the tone. Of course you want to you know play the right notes and the right chords but at the same time it's also playing with different tones and so I start with the thumb so that I have a much darker and dull tone and then I switch to the finger picking technique uh, which makes the chord progression more rhythmic and bright. Guys, let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsored Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of awesome classes. Now, I said that before, I consider Skillshare to be the Netflix of learning. There are so many classes that you can take. There are so many things that you can learn on just one platform. There is a class for almost anything you want to learn, ranging from music, art, self-development, video recording, video editing, photography and more. I've been using Skillshare for a while guys and every time I feel I want to learn something or every time I need to learn something I will definitely go on Skillshare to find a class that can help me improve my skills. Now the cool thing is that the first thousand people who click the link down below get a free trial of Skillshare Premium which means that you can access all these classes for free for a limited period of time. And then if you're happy with Skillshare, you can sign up for less than 10 bucks a month. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to the lesson. Let me show you how to play these beautiful chords. Now the second section is going to be played with a different chord progression. 
The chords are still the same, we are just opening up with the B flat major 7 chord, so we're gonna play the chord progression like this. So we're gonna open up with this lovely B flat major 7 chord with the root note on the fret number 6, nothing, 7, 7 and 6. Now it's really about how we play the chord, uh, we're gonna play the bass, the chord with the finger picking technique and then this lovely phrase, it's really bluesy, right? On the B string, fret number 10, we're approaching this note uh, chromatically and then the fret number 8, we finish with the fret number 5 which is going to be played over the uh, A minor 7 chord so I like to play this note with the A minor 7 already in place. So I will play the bass after this, and then the chord, and then this phrase. This phrase is played on the G string, uh, fret number 9, approaching chromatically, and the B string, fret number 8. And then we finish with fret number 3, same thing as the A minor 7, the fret 3 on the B string is played over the G minor 7 chord, so I'm gonna just play the B string, put down the chord, play the B string, then the bass, chord, and then I'm gonna play the chord like this, bass with the chord, then just the chord, and then I'm gonna change um, the G minor 7 into an A dominant 7 chord, A string open, 5, 6 and 5, and I finish with the uh, fret number 6 on the B string, put down the D minor chord, and I PG it 3 strings. So when I play it rhythmically, it sounds like this. Now we can play the same phrase back to the same chord. change uh, the G minor uh, rhythmically, just the bass chord and bass, sorry, bass chord and then the chord with the bass, twice, and we finish with this lovely um, A dominant 7 flat 13, which is 5, nothing, 5, 6 and 6. We're gonna play it 5 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 